Hello there and welcome to my reaction to Quasimorph review Skitsu edition trademark. I feel like every video of Seth is a Skitsu edition video, but nice to have a confirmation for this specific one. Anyway, let's begin. Hey, hey, Lactation Nation. Seth here. Oh. In the not so distant future, man no longer fears the tyranny of a state as sovereign oh, no. nations have been abolished. For we found the best form of government. Anarcho-capitalism. Whenever uh, anarcho-capitalism is mentioned okay. in conversation, it's usually followed by repealing the age of consent. But in this case, it simply <laughs> no. means everything and everyone in this entire solar system is corporate property. Quasimorph is an early mm. access roguelike where you take the role oh. of Magnum PMC, a private... I like roguelike like see what it's about. Flexible Magnum. morality that does work for the highest bidder. The twist is, the world is over. Judgment Day is here. And we're all going to die. And we've chosen to profit from the chaos. But first, a word from our sponsor, because I gotta get that bread. Okay, Sorry, who sponsored guys. you? My PC crashed again. I had a single Chrome tab open, so my computer caught fire, burned down really? my house, well, killed. Chrome jokes side. ever end. Today's video is sponsored I still, I still DS. see them on the regular. Got two videos in a row. Browsers are massive resource hogs. They always say, just upgrade your... I'm gonna let it play. I'll lower the volume. You know. I'm using Opera GX control feature. While how much CPU and RAM the browser can use, so I can get. I keep I kept forgetting this video existed to record the reaction for it because I saw it come. Uh, YouTube never notifies me about Seth's videos, but I saw it come out. Uh, like about an hour after it came out, I saw it in my recommended, and since then it's been over a day, like about thirty hours probably since since that time, and uh, I'm finally here. And I recorded two different videos <laughs> after this came out and before here I'm recording it. Recorded and released two different videos. And the previous one, I was the Russian Badger one, it, it also had a Opera GX advertisement. Sponsor, I guess. Same thing. What? What is that? What are those stock photos? Okay. All your settings, history, bookmarks, and passwords. Okay. Just one click. Use my link. I don't really care unless Opera sponsors me at some point. I'll never use it. Boring other browsers. To answer the question, All right, what is we're back. We're so back. The most accurate answer is the schizophrenic one. The setting of Quasimorph stems from the okay. esoteric meta mythos of Daniel Andreev in his book Rose of the World, which describes Shadanakar, or the systems of parallel worlds connected to Earth. These concentric uh -huh. of Bramfaturas, the superimposition Sounds like bullshit immediately, holy shit. ...formulate together to create existence. At least I think so. Uh, Quasimorph is an intruder oh, what stepping is in this? from another reality. And unfortunately, the veil between worlds is weakest between your chest cavity. Quasimorph is a turn-based survival extraction shooter, or in other words, 2D escape from Tarkov, except fun. The principle is very simple. We take out a contract and send in one of our agents. If it kinda die, looks like pixelated no problem, XCOM. There are not really any more people than they are proprietary neuro imprints. We license mm. their consciousness, and we bioprint as many replacements necessary for total client satisfaction. You're free to uh -huh. take jobs from any of the major corporations, including the Quasimorphs. We may be locked in an existential war for humanity, but that doesn't stop me from holding stock in Sectlan. Rapture is coming, but homie, I got some great dividends. And you start with a favorable reputation. After all, you did help them entrench into this reality. You start a mission uh, by selecting an active contract a planet or moon you're currently orbiting. This requires you to select a mercenary, a class, and a loadout for the mission, after which you're deployed into hostile territory. Anyone you see, anything that moves, is kill on sight. An entire mission is two to four levels. If you mm -hmm. change your mind midway and call the shuttle, fuel is expensive, so it's cheaper to let you die. The only oh. way to extract is by completing the objective, which can be espionage, station defense, sabotage, elimination, or combat. I feel like if it's espionage, why are you killing everything? That's not very spy like. And I assure you, you're going to be dying a lot. If it's any consolation, uh, I died during the tutorial because I picked up a knife, selected amputate, 
and clicked on my head. Each deployment, you're on a timer. Okay. The more time you spend and the more blood you spill, the higher your level of quasimorphosis. Quasimorphosis measures the probability of ecolapse, where upon death, the host explodes and a quasimorph phases in. The severity of the situation uh. is described in the bottom right. Somnia, no events. Grasp, occasional ecolapse. Intrusion, music changes, ecolapse and aggression increase. Plenum, spontaneous ecolapse. Alteration, the entire floor is coming. Q-morphos, music changes There's to its harsh intensity. Every host in the map explodes. And finally, Rapture. If you want to live, you'll keep this number as low as possible. Naturally, there's only two ways to do this. Drinking vodka, smoking Newports, and injecting morphine. Each time you, uh -huh. you consume calories at higher weights, this is of course half everyone per game where is what that is insane. Believe. And if there's drugs. Starvation, we need a steady supply of slop. But when the food runs out, I want you to consider alternative sources. When I consume my enemies, is it really cannibalism? For that implies... I considered them human to begin with. Unfortunately, human flesh will raise your quasimorphosis. You Makes sense. Death and accelerate another. However, if you find a crafting bench in an empty tin, you can turn that long pig into gourmet dinner, which will no longer cause quasimorphosis. So you can it and it's fine then? Okay. Your fellow man, it's about table manners. Disclaimer, they patched the canned meat. It's uh. so On the other hand, they improved the crafting bench so much you have no idea. We are so back. In general, okay. the crafting bench will save a lot of your early game runs. He did say it was early access. Roguelike. Clear rooms, makeshift batteries power autodoc and floor scanners. Completing a mission gives rewards, but more importantly, reputation. You can land in mm. any corporate asset so long as it's friendly and exchange goods for equipment. And if you're completely so long as it's friendly, friendly huh? Land, you can even exchange yourself by amputating your own limbs. This is not a joke. It's a completely valid strategy to potato peel your digits, offer them at the Fever Temple, regenerate your limbs on the ship, and do it all over again. It's not efficient, but we can no longer exploit blood bag synthesis. They caught on to us, boys. It was good while it lasted. <laughs> Speaking of Damn. Which, the magnet Ass those, those bastards. Everything, so long as you have the proprietary item chip. These are effectively a perpetual license and are so incredibly valuable that finding one during a mission is a valid reason for evacuation. There's also class oh. and chips, which okay. are classes and mercenaries respectively. If you mouse over a chip and you see the words data miner, You've officially hit the jackpot. You can do whatever you really? want, but remember, your actions have consequences. Supporting a corporation will accelerate their growth in technology. If you want top shelf gear, great. But if you turn against them in the future, you're not going to be facing wage slaves and general managers. You'll be facing rival PMCs Ooh. and their own special forces. So I encourage you, pick a side, any side, and stick to it. There's a lot of okay. other corporations, but for the sake of time, here's the big players. SBN, Social Media Monopoly. They own Twitter, the Disgusting. best rifles, and the lightest armor. Realware, industrial mega manufacturer. Carnage Pattern is objectively the coolest armor, and they produce the highest RPM ballistics. Ancom, mm. entertainment and research conglomerate. They make the most versatile armor, the best snipers, and the experimental HFC. This game's equivalent of Doom's BFG. BFG, yeah, uh, Quasimorphs from Venus that'll tell. make you rage quit at least several times. Everything is Aztec, from the design to the desire for human organs. And finally, the Civil Resistance. These are terrorists that hope to bring about something even worse than Judgment Day. A return to national sovereignty. They intentionally hive mind themselves into a cluster of consciousness known as a call node. In effect, they have achieved working communism. Anyway, you understand uh -huh. the politics of our PMC. Let's return to the Good job. mechanics. It's very tempting to finish the tutorial and go straight to the moon. Somehow, I avoided this so I didn't get filtered by a wheelchair. Quasimorphosis is unique to each planet because they're subject to the influence of a different Brown Fatura, Venus, Ganix, Mercury, Shartamacum, and the Earth's moon, Duger. Mars and its moons what? have absentia, which means there is no quasimorphosis. So, if you're starting off, I recommend Mars. If you're learning, try oh. Mercury and Venus. And if you know what you're doing, go to the moon. That doesn't mean any single location is safe, and death is around every corner. Most common cause of death? Flamethrowers, not in the hands of enemies, but myself. An entire room yeah. gone in a flash because I some figured. unpaid worker amputated your neck with a circular saw. I assumed the weapon was busted, so I tried it myself, in a straight line, where it ricocheted and cut my legs clean off. When you take damage, <laughs> you get injuries, which have to be treated, or they get infected. And if there's no antibiotics on hand, well, 
it has to go. Second, the most common cause of getting filtered, pain shock. If you take too much damage too quickly, you get stunned and lose a turn. Both systems Ooh. are universal. If you shoot something hard enough, they'll get stunned from the shock. If you cause injury, you can run away as they bleed to death. And if you amputate a critical organ, they might just die instantaneously. The number of action points you can take per turn is based on your move setting. At any time, you can based indeed. sneak, normal, and run. Sneak is one action point, but can detect the position of nearby enemies, use your inventory, and interact with nearby objects at no cost. Normal so it's preferred. action points and run is free. However, while running, you can't open your inventory and take a severe penalty to your accuracy. Peak performance requires that you abuse the system. Opening a door, switch to sneak, see enemies, switch to normal, then toss a grenade before switching back and locking it on the same turn. A lot of players mm. have a tendency to go autopilot in sneak mode and just die without explanation. What usually happens is they turn a sharp corner, get their shit blasted in, but because they have a single action point, they go into pain shock, which rolls over to the next turn, where they get shot again and repeat the process until they die. The whole point All of right. running is to face check. Understand your tools, and you'll find this to be a very satisfying tactical experience. I used mm -hmm. to have complaints about this game, but after so many hours, I can tell you, if you die, it's a skill issue. I have a brain parasite, well. and it forces me to play this game at two times speed with cheat engine. That's a personal choice. I also use a macro to amputate every corpse. After 100 hours playtime, that's a necessity. Classes work like a perk. Oh, okay, that doesn't sound good. Intrinsic perk. This I'm less interested in the game the now. Choice to create vastly different play styles. For example, Percy comes with plus five to all resistance. Outfitted with full carnage pattern, he's the only person in the game that can set himself on fire and not take damage. And after putting him, I wanted to say grenade, that can I he can do shoot a single round of incendiary ammunition? and burn down half the map. In general, you should pick a mercenary that suits your play style. Do you want to feast on human flesh? Play no. Isabella, because she's immune to infection. Even better, put her as Eclipse Blaze and turn your cannibalism into a one-hit kill. Are you tired of getting stun-locked? Try Maximilian, because he doesn't feel pain. Would you like uh -huh. a slower pace? Play Mirza, because her caloric needs are 40% of everyone else. Are you tired of scraping by? Would you like to quadruple everyone's inventory to the point yes. where every enemy contains two flavors of ramen and a pack of lucky strikes play tunnel rats and experience the greatest whiplash in difficulty as everything that doesn't die to your shotgun gets knocked back into the void of space i've discussed builds let's talk about that's guns, good because there's a lot of them if you want to kill enemies that's probably my choice resistance. and the type of damage you do is based on the ammunition flamethrowers and energy rifles cook organics but have no effect on cyborgs in contrast the buckshot of a shotgun will cut them to pieces most armor stops the blunt impact of a nine millimeter but a 797 from an assault rifle will pierce right through. Quasimorphic weapons deal cold. Sounds Even fair enough. you're fully equipped, the full burst of a serpent's mouth will send you straight back to the menu. And poison was previously neglected, and now it's a complete menace. Also, there's targets. Uh -huh. They're incredibly useful for defense missions, and because an enemy ran right up to your face, shooting you in the crossfire. And finally, <laughs> you might be asking yourself, what's that little icon on the bottom right? Don't worry about it. Anyways, I forgot how to structure hmm. this video. So in conclusion, no, it's the night it's self-inflicted out of ten. It's amazing. I know it's early access, but there's a lot of content already, and you can easily sink eighty hours on just the main gameplay loop. There's an impressive roadmap and features to okay. come that I cannot disclose at this time because I promised I wouldn't tell. As always, more uh. content to come next year because I gotta see my family. Merry Christmas! <laughs> a warm thanks to the many Merry Christmas Guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos consistently for several years you're all truly wonderful and that's you a lot more than I deserve. Just... and you won't stop asking me to take your money so i will in exchange enjoy the outro I mean, i'm okay i got copyrighted for one of his outros before what is this though if you're interested there's a 20% sale on gog a special thanks to the autistic japanese man who tailored me this Mebeke suit. If you're interested uh -huh. in anything from a uh, democratic... Oh my god, live action content from Seth? ...to a BDSM outfit, I've linked his Patreon in the description below. By the way, in case you're wondering, what's the most expensive part of this suit? It's the snake skin. Have a merry okay. 2024, and I'll see you all next year. I thought it would be like a... a the cock holder. I don't know. Especially after he started standing up. I wonder if Quasimorph has a original price. Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah. 
It's about seven bucks. Supporter bundle. What is that? There's a DLC supporter pack. What is that? What does this come with? Unique Magnum skin, three pre release versions of the game with unique narrative content and missions. Exordium demo, end of dream prologue and demo 2023. Digital soundtrack, high resolution arts, and a printable t shirt design file. Interesting. Similar to Slay the Spire. I would disagree. <laughs> They're both technically roguelikes. Oh, DLC was si similar to Slay the Spire. And the game itself is similar to Other Side. Which I would agree more, yeah. Still. Yeah, Zero Five update that's probably changed the canned food and stuff. Came out only on 21st of November. So there's that. Anyway, that's enough sleuthing around. Thank you everybody for watching this. I appreciate it a lot. I hope to see you next time and goodbye. Have a great life, because one of us has to.